hi guys you're welcome to Juliet Ibrahim TV my vlog on my YouTube channel and uh, today I've decided to do something more fun for you guys it's going to be a never have I ever fun quiz so I hope you enjoy this and you get to know me a bit more proof all done that before like come on <laughs> you think you are going to fart and silent one and then it comes out with a like very <laughs> and it comes out with a very loud noise <laughs> okay next question <laughs> I have the who hasn't stopped a crush before <laughs> I'm actually going to finish the drink today. <laughs> so, of course, I have done that before. Like, you know, when you're chatting with someone and the person is like, or you know, trying to be funny, but you're not funny, but you just have to type out LOL, but you're not actually laughing out loud. <laughs> I watch cartoons all the time. There are even times where me and my sisters will actually just sit down and put on very old cartoons. So that we can watch with the kids and, and sing along and actually just like enjoy and remember our like you know childhood days and stuff like that so i guess we've all done that yeah i'm a huge fan of cartoons <laughs> i have stayed up all night and that was when i was watching a um i think i was watching a series at the time um they call it 24 24 was like a 24 hours like you know stuff so it was crazy i used to love 24. um i would stay up all night to like the next morning watching 24 like it was that bad it was that bad so cheers i have lied about my age and that was like years years ago like you know when you're like in your teens you're trying to make people think you're older you know and people feel like ah oh, yes just a small girl you don't need to be here and all of that so we all do that it happens yeah no i haven't let me ask you thought about a cartoon character being hot I do that all the time like you don't get the joke but you know you just have to laugh and you laugh harder than the person yeah. oh Gangnam style open Gangnam style whoop whoop I think there's a dance for that I've seen it before like it's not like I intentionally watched it you know or wanted to watch it but it's like it was on TV I just watched, um, you know, what was being played. Yeah, so I've seen it before. <laughs> I have. You were like, oh, girl. And then the person goes like this. Yes. I have called the wrong person and then um, when you picked up I had to start like a full conversation and it's like oh just checking up on you and everything yeah I think it happens to everybody mm -hmm. you too right uh, I know Ooh, I do that all the time yes I have said at the guy's butt in fact several guys butt in jeans yes that's how you can tell the person is fully loaded yeah! 
chains to the fine buds. Hmm. Who never fake up? lies before and that's like um some some time back in junior high um it was a very scary period for me because i was told not to scratch my hair my mom had to put some things in my hair i had to like tie up the hair because apparently you can actually use your hair you have to like cut off the hair and stuff if it gets really bad but i didn't get to that point it was scary yeah i got it from someone in school <laughs> Life career. I remember <laughs> I have. So let me explain the story. This guy, he's a makeup artist, and he was supposed to come and do my makeup for a shoot. So here I am waiting, and you know the name. You know, like Nigerian names are very funny. You can have a man has um, having the same name as a girl. Um, you know it's like that vice versa you know so when he came i didn't know it was a he he had a the chest and you know they have some ladies and makeup artists that are probably dress up like guys and just like you know that kind of dressing can be the same and something like that so i actually thought it was a girl because the guy was fine he's so cute so i was not talking to somebody on the phone call and i was like oh she's here the makeup artist is here she started doing my makeup and everything and then the guy was like no, it wasn't. He wasn't the one that told me. It was someone else. I was like, no, no, he's a guy. He, it's a he, not a she. I was like, oh my goodness. I just messed up. I felt embarrassed. Like it was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life because the makeup artist was touching my face. You know, I was like, oh god, I hope he doesn't paint me up like a clown when I'm done because of what I just said. But it was very embarrassing because he was so fine. Like he was wearing earrings too. So I don't know. <laughs> who hasn't tried it before who hasn't tried to pee in the pool before <laughs> i have because i heard that when you pee in the pool the pool will change color i wanted to test it <laughs> I swear I would love to ask this question to my sister. Sonia Ibrahim, you need to answer this question for me on my behalf. Yes, I have. I have. Sonia was right next to me when it happened. <laughs> so, we were actually coming from... I think we went out to the club or something and I, I normally react to uh, drinks, uh, alcoholic, alcoholic drinks that have uh, milk inside. I'll tend to have like diarrhea or run afterwards and that night we had one of those kind of drinks with the uh, milk in it man like it was probably like 10 minutes for us to get to the house my stomach was just room 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 rumbling everywhere i was like sonia please i have to go maybe we can open the the, the car door i'll come out and just do it on the street but it was like early morning so it's like all this uh, you know dawn kind of thing so it was 5 a.m in the morning and i had to go there was nowhere to stop you know we couldn't stop on the highway because we we're on the motorway and i was like so now what do we do so that the, the driver of the car at the time the taxi driver was like um let him go and see if he can get something from a cross like a bag or whatever then i can be able to do it and <laughs> On the road. So when the driver left, the thing could not hold anymore. So my sister Sonia had a plastic bag. Apparently she was eating kebab, you know, after the whole thing. So she took the kebab plastic bag. So all the small plastic bags they use for the kebabs. She now said, Juliet, you can use this one. Sonia, that's my sister Sonia Ibrahim, held the plastic bag in the back of the taxi. I sat down the plastic bag and I had to go and I went. I did my number two right there. This baby finished and tied up the plastic bag and threw it in the bushes. Ah, my sister Sonia is a hero. I salute you, baby girl. I salute Sonia. <laughs> but 
for the six that day when the driver came back running with bag he brought one bag oh madam madam i found a bag for you so oh don't worry it's okay this pain has gone down she's feeling better don't worry let's just go home the guy didn't know we had already done it in the, in the back of his taxi <laughs> oh, I don't, oh that was gross thinking about it this is the first time i'm actually talking about it this is secret it's between Sonia and I uh, but Sonia and I share this secret for many many years this is a sisterhood bond she has done a lot of shit with me yeah. <laughs> I've tasted rice milk I'm a mother duh so you know being a first time mother I wanted to actually taste what my son was you know taking in and I did <laughs> Cheers to all the mothers out there. Never, never. I'm a good girl like that. Never. I have done it in a public place. Places. You can read about it all in my book. I'm not talking about it here. <laughs> there are several apps there, including Facebook, Instagram, back in the day, high five. Oh. Yeah. But never on Twitter though. I don't know why. <laughs> Cheers to my boo Chris Brown. I've fantasized about Chris Brown like forever. Yeah. My imaginary boyfriend. <laughs> this is why I call my sister Sonia Ibrahim again. Sonia, come here. <laughs> my sister Sonia and I always used to play. Uh, with Barbie and Ken. Ha! Ah, I will always be Ken. So now be Barbie. So now Barbie will come dressed up and then we'll have Ken and Barbie doing it. They will do it. They will do it. Different position. They will do it. Ha! Ah, we played with dolls till like we we're in our teens. Or was that bad? I think Sonia still play with dolls though. I think she does with her kids. I suspect her. She'll buy the kind of dolls and the toys that she likes as she's Sonia. She'll not buy it for her daughters and she'll be playing with the girls. I know Susu. She is dead. <laughs> I have. Okay, now let me say why I have said I love you without meaning it. I have said I love you without meaning it. Um, in the instance where um it was over i knew i didn't have feelings for the person anymore and i wanted to break up and the person kept insisting like oh you know what let's try to make it work you know i'm sorry i can do better blah 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 blah, blah. then i have to like pretend even though i know my heart is not there and i know that it's definitely going to end up at some point because you know and i just said that i love you but it was then like more acting, you know. I was just acting it out, but there was no emotions. Yeah. Me, what's porn? What was that? Never, never, I have never had a threesome. I don't intend to. Thank you very much for the offer. <laughs> I have. Yeah. So, don't you like have those moments where you're like outside, somebody seems to be familiar, or maybe the person comes up and say hi, and then. You've forgotten or you don't remember where you know them from and you just have to like you know 
pretend to know the person. Yeah, we've all had that, uh, you know, those moments, so I have. <laughs> I wouldn't but cheating, but I guess it's cheating. Cheers. The reason why I'm classifying this as cheating um, in a relationship is because I knew that I was like over and done with the per the person I was dating already, and you know it was sometimes you try to keep stalling and everything. And like oh please let me let's make it work, please let's try and you know do this again. And, Please give me a chance again, blah, blah, blah. Dude, I'm out of there. So I'll start talking to someone else, you know, start having that like, emotional conversation with someone else that I see potential in. And yeah, for me, that's cheating. Once you can, you know, start giving your time and investing your time into someone else. Yeah. Guilty in the past. Guilty in the past. I have. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Never have I ever with Juliet Ibrahim, and uh, I just wanted to get more personal and you know have more fun with you guys. And um, you can feel free and drop your comments below. And if you have other questions you want me to answer for you later in my next vlog, you can leave them um, down below as well. Thanks for watching and stay safe.